Colin for seven grand. The chase is on. Good luck. Here comes your first question. Naomi Campbell and Claudia Schiffer made uncredited cameo appearances in which Julia Roberts film? A. Erin Brockovich, B. Pretty Woman, C. pret a -Porte. You've put... pret a -Porte. I haven't a clue. I don't think they were in Pretty Woman. Yeah. Correct answer is... Yeah, well played. Step close to home, well done. Chase has put... Red to Porto's yeah, right. Director with the late Robert Altman, uh, an inside look at the fashion industry, and it has numerous uh, cameo appearances from famous people. Here's your next question. In 2017, which England cricketer became the first to take 25 wickets and score 250 runs in a four-match test series? A. Moeen Ali, B. James Anderson, C. Owen Morgan. You've put... Moeen Ali. What I know about cricket, you can write on six foot high letters on a postage stamp. <laughs> I don't know anything about cricket either. He does, though. Correct answer is. Well played. Very good. Step close to home. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> that was right, Moeen Ali. So I needed him. Ran Khan as one of the options. <laughs> His next question. Which of these waterfalls is not located at an international border? A, Niagara Falls, B, Victoria Falls, C, Angel Falls. You've put... Angel Falls. That's in Venezuela. Correct answer is... Step close to home, we'll play. Chase has put... Guys, right, Angel Falls is all. Here's the next question. In business jargon, tasks that are easy to achieve are known as what? A, fast-growing vegetables, B, low-hanging fruit, or C, slow-cooking meat? You've put... Fast-growing vegetables. If it's easy, it's got to be easy to, it's got to be quick, I thought. Correct answer is... Yeah, low-hanging fruit, easy to pick off. All oh, right. Uh, stay where you are, Chase has put... That's right, low-hanging fruit. Two more in my home and dry, we're doing all right. Colleen, playing well. Here's your question. Which of these soaps has actor Chris Bisson not appeared in? A, Coronation Street, B, Emmerdale, C, EastEnders. You've put... EastEnders. I haven't got a clue who Chris Bisson is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have, you've seen him. Trust me, you've seen him. Uh, correct answer is... EastEnders is, well played, step close to home. Amazing, what a guess. Just shows you, though. Chase has put... <laughs> Goes wrong with... Oh! Ooh. That's good for us. Here's the next question. Step close to the home. One more, we're home and dry. <sighs> the word syzygy is typically used in what scientific field? A, archaeology, B, astronomy, C, acoustics. <laughs> You've put... Acoustics. Seem to fit, I think. No vowels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see where you're some mad logic. <laughs> yeah. uh, to go through with seven grand, correct answer is... <laughs> it's astronomy. Stay where you are, Chase has put. Here he comes. <laughs> Goes right, yeah. I think it's an alignment of three heavenly bodies, usually, usually two planets and a moon, I think. Here's your next question. In 1906, Alvin Coburn photographed a nude George Bernard Shaw in the pose of which famous artwork? A, The Thinker, B, The Scream, C, The Mona Lisa. You've put... The Thinker. That's got to be it, isn't it? I would have thought so. I can't, yeah. I can't see him doing The Scream. George Bernard Shaw? <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> to go through with seven grand, correct answer is... Well played, step close to home. Very good, Colin. Ooh.